Hello and welcome to my channel, Emma Jane's Garden. Today I am making a funeral wreath and I thought I would take you along and show you the process of how I make a funeral wreath. Um, I've looked on YouTube quite a few times um, for inspiration on funeral wreaths um, and a lot of them use floral foam which is a big no-no for me. I don't like using single-use plastics um, and I like things to be as biodegradable as possible. Um, this wreath isn't going to um, a natural burial ground, it is going to just a normal crematorium um, and it's just going to be there for a couple of days so it hasn't got to last for ages on a grave um, and it also doesn't have to um, it's not it doesn't have to compost either so because of the way that this crematorium works but um, what I'm going to do is use my principles which is as eco-friendly as possible the only thing that I'm using that isn't is the wire but the wire that I do use is really good at rusting and actually that just puts some iron back into the soil so it's not actually that bad um, so I'm using willow and the only willow I had available to my to me at the moment is some twisted willow and I'm going to show you what I've been doing Okay, so excuse the mess, but this is the side of my house. <laughs> so this is where I'm making some stays. Thank God, it's a really lovely day today. Um, a bit worried about having to do this in the rain because my shed's not really big enough for what I need to do today. Um, so the brief for this um, brief was the gentleman that I'm making it for was um, a lover of all things winter. So he loved Christmas, he loved winter foliage, he loved, he liked his garden, but he liked all um, like evergreen um, things. So um, it's a really lovely brief to be doing, especially this time of year. So we've just gone into January, um, and what a horrible time of year really to be having a funeral. Um, it must be, you know, I feel for the family. Um, so I really wanted to make this a really lovely um, uh, display for them. It's a very simple funeral, so there's not gonna be it's loads of flowers. This is the only one. So what I'm using is this twisted willow, this stuff here, which is all attached to itself. Um, and I had quite a lot of this left over actually from Christmas so that's why I'm using this. I've got some in a bucket which I'm rooting so I can have more for next year. Um, so we're going to take pieces like this um, and because I've only got short pieces you can see they're not very long ones left. I'm going to be wiring my neighbour's talking to me <laughs> um, I'm going to be wiring pieces together so um, that's why I'm using I'll be using the wire. Um, so I'm going to get lengths and then I'm just going to put another, like you would with a wreath, so you're just going to put another piece here and then you put, these are the short bits, another bit a bit further up so that you're making a bit that's long enough to make your circle and then I'm just going to wire them round and then you get to this point which is the wreath that I've made here like this, so this is my bit of wire and it ha it's not tight, the wire's not tight around it, it's still got some play, it's still got some gnarly looking pieces, which is what I love on a wreath, um, and that's what we want. So I'll be using some of the Twisted Willow actually in the display as well, once we've gone round. So that's the base made. Um, and we're just going to, so we're just going to pull in any bits that are sticking up, any bits that are going round. And now I can just wire this bit around. I don't think, can you see how I've wired it? Just around very loosely. I'm just going to snip that off now because we're done with that. And I'll just tie that back onto itself so it doesn't come undone. Like this. And again, back through. Like that and in on itself so that that won't come undone. So that's firm now. So all I'm gonna do now is I've got some spare pieces here, some of the bits that I've taken off and I'm just gonna keep going around with them just to make this a bit thicker. So these won't need to be wired in, same as you would with any willow reef now, just gonna keep going around. The only reason I had to wire it was, was because the, um, the bits of willow I had weren't long enough. Otherwise, I could have just made one big reef without using the wire. Um, like this. So I'm just going to keep carrying on going round. I, um, I'll show you what I've done, what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so that's the reef done. As you can see, it's a lot fatter now. There's no little thin patches all the way around. So now we just need to green it up. And it's going to be a very simple process. Um, 
it's much like doing a Christmas wreath. Um, so I'm going to be doing the same principle of the um, the way you put it in and out, in and out, all the way around. Um, if you're interested in how I make my Christmas wreaths, um, I will put a link up here to um, the Christmas wreath um, that I made um, a couple of years ago. Um, that wasn't on a willow base, that was on a straw base, but it, the principle is exactly the same, how I'm going to do this. So um, I need to go and cut some greenery, so I'm going to go and do that, and I will possibly take you with me. Um, it depends on... <laughs> How long it takes me this i've just gone into shade and it's quite cold now so um, i'm going to um, take the dog for a walk at the same time go and get some greenery for this and then i'll come back and show you what i'm doing with this okay so i have come down to um, my allotment and i know that there was quite a lot of foliage here that um, i had left over from christmas anyway um, and i've just been round and um, added a few more bits I've got some rosemary and some other nice bits and pieces from the allotment so let me show you my rather large wheelbarrow full of stuff okay, this is the wheelbarrow full of things so I've um, picked some bay so I've got a really nice bay tree on my allotment I've got bay um, I've got a few other bits I've got the Leylandi um, I've found some of the Christmas stuff that I had left over from Christmas I've got some um, this really nice variegated holly which um, I have here um, and then I've got some rosemary which I'm going to cut in a minute so this is the rosemary so I've got a whole massive bunch of rosemary I've also got some foxtail rosemary come and have a look at my really untidy polytunnel so I've got loads of seeds ready for next year growing already but this is the foxtail um, I call it foxtail rosemary I'm not sure if that is what it's called but it grows in this real spiky habit which is pretty cool um, so you can see I've got some cuttings of that um, holly here because I want to grow some of my own um, some bits and pieces anyway this is a reef making so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, someone's dropped off a fir tree here at the allotment um, like a leyland eye kind of thing someone's chopped up chopped down and they've put it onto um, the little pile over here um, and it's only been there a day so I'm going to get that and I'm going to cover the whole of the reef base in that first to fluff it up and make it big and fat and full and then I'm going to put all the pretty stuff on the top. Okay, so this is the reef. I've greened it all up as you can see. So now it's just ready for all the other bits to go on. Now the greenery that I've got on here is going to be used basically like a straw base. So it doesn't matter if this will get, this is just going to make it full out of butter. It's actually quite heavy now, um, but that's good because that means it won't blow away when it's on the coffin. So this is how it is now. And I will show you what it looks like next. Okay, so I am halfway round wiring on the extra foliage. I'm just going to show you what that looks like now. So this is the reef with the extra foliage around the edges and I've got some berries and I've got some lovely uh, um, this Cornish heather which is the white flowers which is going to go in but what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to do that at the end and then I can poke it through because we've got the willow we've got the willow as the base I'll be able to poke it in and through because I was wiring it on as well but I'm um, just worried about how much I've got and I don't want to run out before the end so yeah so that's what it's looking like and you can see on the angle that you can't actually see Oop. No, you, you. you can't actually see where I'm wiring it so that's the art is to be able to see that so you can't actually see that it's being wired from the outside or the inside so that this bit still you can still see this because um, obviously this is giving it a lovely bright base to it right I need to get on and do the rest and then I'll show you when I start to put the um, flowers and the berries in I'll show you where how I'm doing that okay so this is the reef is finished i'm just going to put the flowers and the berries in now um and i might just put a few extra bits of holly in just to equal it out so i think there's a bit missing from here um but that is nearly done okay so the next thing to remember with a funeral reef is remember it's going to be seen from the side more than it's going to be from the top um so this one i know that this is going to go on a coffin and then it's going to go down it'll get lowered down 
into the crematorium and then this wreath is going to go into a garden remembrance for a couple of days and that's it so this isn't going to go onto a grave or anything where it's going to be seen so i need to make sure that the sides are beautiful because it's going to be up higher and it's going to be seen from this sort of height um, so if anyone saw the queen's wreath um, earlier on last year now um, then you'll see that the flowers were around the edge because it was always so much higher up the top didn't need to be seen so much so that's what I'm going to do now and obviously I'll show you when I'm done so what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece like this and we know where we want to put it so I can see I've got some here and I've got some here so I'm going to need some of it here and then we're going to basically use it as if you were using floral foam or uh, moss and you're just going to push it in where you want it and there it is it's secure so it's a brilliant way especially use if you're using the um the willow bases it's brilliant because it holds on to the fo foliage and flowers really well okay so that is the reef done i've um finished putting all the bits and pieces in um i think it's done let's have a look there we go so as you can see it's got all the berries in it now um and the flowers i think it looks absolutely beautiful um you can't really see the it's not showing the berries up but they're not very they're actually more of a wine color than a red so um they just look really really pretty um and then i've got some little catkins here which i've put in just to give it a little something else um there's bits of willow still sticking up from earlier um yeah i think it looks really nice and as you can see the inside is still looking good um you can't see there's this bit here which is annoying me. I think I might just put something else in there but the rest of it is really full. So yeah, I think I just need one more bit there. Okay, so that's that gap filled. You can't see it now, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to take it outside and get some good photos. So there it is up. Obviously that's not how it's going to be displayed. Um, but it just goes to show... I don't want to show you the bin on this side. Um, yeah, it's looking beautiful. So that's what it'll look like from the top. So this is what it looks like from the side. As you can see, um, it's just as pretty from the sides. So just to make sure there's berries all the way around. Eucalyptus, there's the flowers. Um, yeah. So I hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do a thumbs up. Um, like and subscribe please subscribe that may be brilliant and um press the bell icon and then you'll know when i do any more videos um and that's it for today so hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye